Uh, as, as always, I am a little bit nervous about Subnautica today. And Bimple, what was that about the CUD Discord on Twitter? And very occasionally, I get um, someone asking me, uh, either DMing me on uh, Twitter or, um, you know, friending me on Steam or some so, you know, something. Hold on, this is very loud right now. Uh, asking me, like, you know, letting me know, hey, I got, I got banned. Can you do something about it? I'm like, no. I, you know. Okay, the occasional comment uh, uh, comes up in a, in a YouTube video. Um, to be fair, the occasional comment is like, I, I like Caves of Cut, except for their tyrannical Discord server. Tyrannical, huh? I mean, uh, I don't know. Do you, like, invite random strangers to your Discord server? I, I do, but, like, also, if you're jerking my Discord server, you're gonna get the boot there as well. So, like, you know, where is the line exactly? I guess the question really is, like, when it comes to not allowing someone into your circle, never mind your circle. Like, that's the main thing that people complain about. It's not your circle. It's the Caves of Cud circle. How dare you disallow me from the Caves of Cud circle? That's a public circle. I guess that people don't like the idea that you can own an idea, but you don't, that's not even really what's like on the table right now. They see Caves of Cud not as a thing that someone has created or that a bunch of people have created and curated. Um, they see it as a concept. Caves of Cud is now a concept. It's universal. It's basic. It's as basic and uh, public and uh, as, uh, as public a service as water or air or food it it all like if you if you are really a communist you would allow you would give your game away for free you know kind of it's some weirdo a pseudo logic of like well you you sold sell your game online and i i bought it so therefore i should be allowed into your discord server Whoa. that's the noise they make um because they're some kind of eldritch creature i assume uh, what is happening with this game right now? Is it loading or not? Am I alt f Uh, Caves of Cud scares me. Well, it shouldn't scare you. What scares you about it? I'll help you. I'll help. Mimple. Oh yeah, that was the last thing. I'm, I'm, I'm already talking at, at, at length about that. I need to go now. I'm doing some semi-important work. Okay. You pay for water, air, and food though? I mean, yeah. Right? But like, you know, okay, the, you know, uh, here, here's an example of losing privileges for something that you pay for. Okay. And I, you know, we're, we're, as someone's going to call me out on the fact that this is like, maybe not exactly a correct analogy, but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, for instance, um, you, uh, you, uh, the viewer or potentially a supporter of Bimple. You could you could be supporting me on coffee, for instance, um, and get all kinds of extra privileges on the Discord. Uh, for instance, um, extra access to some of my legacy series that are now unlisted on YouTube. I'll talk about that in a bit, but um, yeah, you you get some extra privileges on the Discord and a badge and stuff. But if you're a jerk on my server, if you're like making things miserable for other people, I'm just gonna ban you. You're just going to get out of there if you're like posting weird like stuff that you know is off. If you if you're if the vibes are off on you, my dude, then out do you go? I'm going to I'm going to uh what what's the what's the term? I'm going to space you. You're going to get locked out the airlock. Floating free form into the deep Space. You have lost your air. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Crush depth now 900 meters. Okay, so we accomplished a lot of things last week um, in this game. 
I did a bit of reading up on what the happenings around that and all I can say is some people are just going to be but geez yeah I mean I I try not to talk about the the whole thing about Seth because I feel like I'm just kicking a hornet's nest um and I know that there are quite a few fans of Seth uh, here in uh, in my chat. Well, I say here in my chat. I don't know if they're currently around, but um, needless to say, all I'll, all I'll say is I think that Seth um, stirred a pot that he didn't need to, to stir for content, for the for the clicks. You know, uh, it came across to me as uh, somewhat disingenuous, but who am I to criticize another content creator? Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I just think that it was like unnecessarily adversarial and I disingenuously so. And uh, a lot of people are down for that, you know, they're like, yep, I, I like adversarial content. Um, what the heck? Cud devs. Wait, am I getting seeds? Tree sample. What the heck? Why don't you just uh, delete Q girl and uh, let me back into your Discord server because I'm such a fine and upstanding gentleman. You notice I'm gendering them. I'm doing that on purpose, by the way. Because it's pretty fair to say that most of these people are men. Maybe, maybe I'm out of line for saying that, but it always seems to be the case, doesn't it? That Venn diagram just always, always do be looking like a circle, doesn't it? Anyway, how are you doing, chat? Um, caustic topics aside, caustic and divisive topics aside, how is chat doing? We're going to be playing some Subnautica today. We're going to be, uh, I'm going to be continuing my, uh, to be honest, very frustrating run of Prey, but I think, I'm hoping to fix that today. Um... I have decided that I don't care about whatever good ending that Subnautica has to offer for me. So we're going to be um, taking wizard spells and becoming some kind of weird alien symbiote. So that's cool. Uh, I'm going to also be talking today uh, a little bit about um, what I plan on doing with the Discord, with YouTube, um, stuff like that. And I also want to talk, uh, I, I'm going to be talking a lot about this. So I'm, I apologize ahead of time right now, but I need to talk more about the fact that I am going to be doing, uh, to be taking part of a pyramid, pyramid run charity stream this Saturday. I'll be, um, on that for quite a few hours. When I, <laughs> you know, I, I think it's pretty much whenever I want to, uh, but it, it should be starting at like 10 AM my time so i don't know for most of you that's like what 6 p.m right i don't know most of you are in like switzerland brazil russia pyramid scheme yeah yeah i'm gonna be joining an mlm um it's it's one of those yeah it's 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 the pyramid run it's a um a kind of a a challenge that um another youtuber alexa has put together and it's really pretty cool i mean it's it's, it's like challenges um, for like all of your favorite uh, roguelikes and uh, you know recent video games like for real it's it's a lot of video games um, it, and it's a mod free mod for tabletop simulator and you basically draw challenges and if you're like if you've basically if you've done everything in those games then um, the pyramid run uh, serves as an extra challenge for you What is a pyramid run? Yeah, I just explained. You can see past streams in the Discord so you to catch up on what you missed if you want. That's true. Well, okay. Yeah, I have made... So I, I made past streams public for everyone. Originally, that was going to be a gold simple um, thing, but I, I don't think that's fair and it doesn't make sense. So yeah, streams are, are now in the public uh, channel. I was going to say, I was going to talk about like... You can get you can get banned from a Discord that you're you have extra priv privileges for. That was really the end of that thought. I can't remember what I'm doing to be honest. I th you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and collect some materials. I know I need materials. I guess I could look into blueprints and see what I need. I probably need a bunch of uh, plasteel. I need more lithium and all kinds of stuff like that. 
I could go to the sparse reef. Get some more stuff. Uh, it's different than being live. Yeah, that's true. I didn't mean to do that. Enter Seamoth. But yeah, I'm going to be taking part of a charity stream. Um, it's It should be a lot of fun. I've actually got a, a lot of really cool stuff coming up. Um, the, uh, the, the charity is going to be raising funds for Extra Life. Uh, it raises money for kids receiving care from my local children's hospital. Okay. <clears throat> I, guess, I think that's Alexa's local hospital. Uh, it's it's nighttime. What did Bimple name the sea moth? I think I named it Bimple Sea Moth. Biggs Bort. <laughs> I named it Biggs Bort. I think that was a typo. I just beat my the first Subnautica and started on Below Zero. I legitimately forgot how much better Below Zero is in exchange for slightly less deep sea horror. There's so much less grinding and backtracking. Nice. Oh, I am going... I'm going to be going southwest. I'm going to go to the Sparse Reef just to collect some stuff, really. Uh, I don't really know what I'm going to be collecting. Congrats on your on your win uh, on uh, Kevbo for the game that you don't like as much as uh, well. I, I know you said you you do like it. You you like Subnautica. You just don't like it as much as Below Zero. Uh, I guess I want to collect titanium. I'm not sure what I'm collecting today. I got the lo-fi music to, uh, you know, um, prepare me a nice, uh, deliver me a nice package of serotonin because, uh, it, Subnautica might get stressful today. I guess I'll collect things like salt as well. I'm just going to collect some materials today. Well, no, I mean, we're going to be doing some other stuff as well. We're going to be doing quite a lot of stuff, actually. What was that? That was weird. I like both games, but uh, BZ is just much better. In terms of quality of life, it's crazy good. Well, I missed my chance to buy it on sale. I, I hope you don't mind, Kevbo. Uh, I am probably not going to be jumping into Below Zero right after Subnautica. I think I'll want a, a short break and I have um, something else prepared depending on uh, what I finish next either Prey or Subnautica but I probably I'll say there's a good chance I will pick up Subnautica below zero um, in the winter sale I think that's fair I, I forgot to drop off my t materials. I have so many materials on me that I need to drop off. Ugh. No, no, definitely take a break between. Yeah, I am assuming there is a little bit of carryover in terms of like content type. I guess what I should be working towards next is um, upgrades for the shrimp, the prawn. Let me see what I can get. What what kind of vehicle upgrades I can get for the prawn? Prawn suit depth. We need that next. Okay, so we rubies. Nickel is the weird one. That's the one I don't know. I'm not sure what to do about that one. I don't know where to get nickel. Probably I'm also going to need to get Cyclops depth modules, I'm assuming. I'm assuming I'm going to need Cyclops depth modules. Which is a, yeah, kind of a bummer. There's a lot of, I, I see what you mean. There's a lot of grinding these things that uh, I've already gotten a couple times. Is 
Is that is that lithium? That is lithium. Should I be taking out the prawn suit instead of uh, the sea moth for collecting materials? I, I don't have I don't think I made the laser beam for it yet. What is it? Um, you have to make it separately, I think. There is the prawn suit jump jump jet upgrade. I probably need that. And then, um, do I automatically get the suit drill when I make? I don't think I do because it looks like it has materials. So I'm going to have to make the, dr the suit drill if I want to mine with the prawn suit. Um, I'm probably, chat, I, I, I'm sorry to say, I'm probably going to be save scumming when it comes to the late portions of this game because I really don't want to have to be, um, like, getting rare resources and then losing them. I, I'm going to be a bit save scummy about it. I'm sorry. I don't even know. I, I assume that's an option. Did Bimple ever get the vehicle upgrade station for the moon pool? Yes, I did. Nickel is literally the most headache inducing resource in the game. You'll have to find the layer below the surface to get it. Okay. We can go down here. There's a bunch of resources still to collect down here. I don't even think I scratched the surface of this area. Safe scumming deaths is A-OK -okay in my book. You need to make the arms separate from the prawn. Lame! Lame and dumb and I hate it. So, are, are these lads OK? Because they don't seem OK. Are you okay? I don't know what he... Is that his way of saying hello? I don't, I don't know what that's all about. What is this? Gold. Uh, gold is perhaps my least favorite rare resource in this game. Oh, is that more glow bullshit? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to swear. Oopsie. That's my bad. Wait, what? Do I need a cutter? Is this nothing? Do you guys have advent calendars where you're from? Or is that another one of those local culture things? I have had uh, advent calendars, yes. I know what they are, and I have had them, and um, I like them. I've, I, they can be bad, like anything else. <gasps> Ooh, that's that's good. Wait, was that uranium? Uran uraninite, highly rea Why didn't you just call it uranium? Why did you have to call it uraninite? That was a little unnecessary, I think. And IMO. <laughs> Hello, Buyaka. How are you doing? How is it going? How is your day faring? I don't know how I feel about this area. Is this a good area, chat? Or Kevbo, really? Feeling a little bit uh, underprepared, maybe. Seems okay. I'm not seeing any deep sea cre creepy crawlies. Are these good? What are these? Deep shrooms. You told me to collect those, didn't you, Kevbo? You told me to farm those up a little bit, didn't you? I'll collect these. I'm also going to shove some stuff into my um, storage on the off chance I die. Not that it matters too much, because I'll be reloading, but... I meant to dump all of my stuff. Does Bimple know how to use the CMO? Yes, I do. Um, I, I figured it out earlier. I'm not sure uh, to what end that the, the sonar serves. 
Also, do I have the right? Yeah, I have the rebreather on good. Um, my day one day is one hour and 29 minutes old. Can't sleep. Have a flight. You be less than three hours. Wow. I bought a tea advent calendar. Oh, that's cool. Um, I know there are beer admin, advent calendars. I don't, uh, a discredit to my um, country, I know, but I'm not much of a beer guy. You know, uh, can, Canadians, they love a few facts. There's a few facts that we love. Um, Canadians tend to love telling you which of your favorite celebrities are Canadian. We just have like we we come out of the womb with a list of <clears throat> you know a a and b list celebrities um uh that that are canadian and then if you mention um justin bieber then we they we we plead the fifth that's the rule i i mean like honestly in the grand scheme of things i i think we could do worse than justin bieber I know, I know people don't necessarily uh, like his music, but that's kind of a completely different... You know, I think not liking someone's art is the best you can hope for these days. <laughs> you know? Oh, oh, these guys. I hate these guys. Okay, leaving. You know what I mean? Like, there's some people whose art I really enjoy, but I cannot stand them as people. And uh, I think I would prefer to not like someone's art, but not hate them as an individual, than uh, to like their art and you know, vice, etc., uh, etc. Et you should always have an extra power cell and a beacon on you in the Seamoth for when you find entrances. Um, there is a beacon nearby that I can collect. Um, I do have an extra power cell. It's not fully charged, but you know, good enough. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the nice serotonin music for now. I'll go and collect that um, beacon because uh, th th this area kind of outlived its relevancy. Also, I, wh what do I care about blood kelp? I now have a farm of blood kelp, right? All I know, um, all I know, Canada seems to have uh, a pipeline of shitty talking heads going into the U.S. to become famous. Well, I mean, you're not wrong, but I like to I like to call that the loud minority. Every country has its uh, problem, child. You know, like. Uh, <laughs> oh man, I just thought of like the worst thing I could say right now about that. Do I dare? Do I do I get political about it? Nah, nah, that's fine. We won't. It's fine. I I won't go. I won't. I won't tell you what. But here, as a treat. That's my jingling keys button. Del Bell Delphine is amazing. She literally sold her own waste bathwater successfully. Gotta admire the sheer audacity and will to generate income. Did you hear about the? A uh, person who was selling their own farts and then they got like You know, they they uh, had abdominal problems Is this one of those entrances you were talking about this seems like a, a potentially important area Here let me let me sonar up my dude It just kind of keeps going. What is this? Copper. Oh, I'd really like to grab that, actually. Oh, is that more uraninite? Yes, it is. Oh, there's actually a bunch more over there. I do like the, the crackling sound when you collect the uraninite, which is very appropriate because, like, you know, I, I like the, the, the Geiger meter. What's the- I always forget the exact number. What's the reference? Um, only- uh, only seven- seven rotkas. Oh! 
What? Did I just get ejected out of my boat? Excuse me, dude. Did you just eject me out of my boat? I don't really appreciate that. Leaving. What happened there? What exactly happened there? That was not okay. Oh. Well, there's some rubies. I need to get that. That did a lot of damage. That did do a lot of damage. I'm, uh, I'm a little bit worried for my life right now. I don't even have a health kit. You know what? We're leaving for now. Okay, hold on a second. Let me... Ah! Buddy! Get out of here! Come back later. Okay, we're, we're, we're leaving for now. But he said surprise warpers will tell you teleport you out of your vehicle to administer the bad I don't remember this guy being here Okay, that was fine. I need to go get some health. Um, I'm wondering if the next couple upgrades I should get are like armor for my suit and stuff like that. Is that something I should check out? Are those plants I should care about? Can't remember, are these jerks? Uh, maybe she learned too well in Africa. We have to recycle water Damn The blood kelp depths are one of the entry points to the mid zone the mid zone is big and labyrinthine and it has a few entries uh, Entries exit that you should you should mark with beacons, okay? Um, in that case, I'm going to go and make some more beacons because I don't really have any and I'm going to drop off my stuff so I don't lose everything. We got some materials. That's pretty good. Not a lot. You need to actively by bypass an international filter. You probably want to phrase yourself differently. <laughs> Warpers will teleport you out of your vehicle. I'm trying. <laughs> okay, I got my coffee. I made a good coffee today. It was good. Okay. Um, I'm gonna drop off all my stuff. Still can't get over the poppin' in this game. I talk about it probably every single time I play this game. So, uh, I'm not going to again, but, you know, uh, yes. I, I, I agree. It's kind of wild. Um, 
Um Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna plant my deep shrooms. Yo, buddy, I don't know if I need you to um do that. Dude came over and sulfured up my garden. Is that is that okay? <laughs> I don't think it's okay. Okay, deep shrooms. Throw that on there. My dude, can you get out of here? I don't need you here, buddy. Get out of here. It is a disease, deadly disease. What? Uh, only mildly bad. Then Bimple might want to scan himself. Echo chamber. I have scanned myself several times. Yeah. It's, it's bad. Doctor, is it bad? Yes, you're an anime fan. Oh no, Doctor. How do, how, well, how do I take care of this? You can't, I'm afraid. Pulls out gun. <laughs> no. Oh, Doctor. Yummy. Um, you know what I would like? I'd like to make another couple of, um, I'd like to make a few of the, the, the med kit dispensers. We can make the radio. Oh, wow. That's actually really expensive. Never mind. Oh no, that's terminal. <laughs> You're a terminal anime fan, I'm afraid. How are you doing, Bioreactor? Are you okay? Do you have enough stuff? You have some stuff. You could use some more stuff, though. The pop-in of Subnautica 1 is awful. Below zero is so much better. They're trying to backpatch some stuff from BZ into Subnautica 1, but it's taking forever. It sure is. It's taking as long as I don't care anymore. <laughs> Like, at a certain point, if you haven't done it yet, just don't bother. I'll buy the next one. It's fine. There's a game. Um, oh, I forgot to cut these. My bad. I'm supposed to cut them. Uh, there's a game called Salt. Uh, it's a pretty cool game. It's an open world game where you build up a, a ship. And... Uh, You build a ship and you sail and you uh, explore and find, you know, some cool islands to plunder and get a bigger ship and fight pirates and stuff, you know, yada yada. And uh, the first game was quotation marks finished. I say quotation marks um, uh, just out of out of respect because the devs themselves, you know, they they. Uh, admitted to the fact that the game was not finished. It was uh, there were things that they couldn't accomplish in, in Salt, Salt, and uh, so they you know and then they announced Salt Two, right? And uh, Salt Two looking very very nice. Doesn't yet have all of the features of Salt One, but it has some new features that were not yet uh, like doable in in uh, Salt One. Okay, were you with me so far? So. You know, this is bound to piss a lot of people off. You know, like, oh, I bought Salt 1 and you didn't finish it. And now you're doing Salt 2 and charging money for it. I get it. Um, I understand that that is uh, kind of problematic in the gamer sphere. But I, I also understand the other end of this, which is like, sometimes you just can't. Sometimes it's really difficult and it's just better to, you know, like call it a day on a, on a game like you got to remember that like I mean development is hard. It's really difficult and some and everyone's learning, you know, like you wouldn't give someone a hard time um for like making a painting and their anatomy is wrong, right? Like you know, they can sell it and you can not buy it. And, uh, you know, they, they had to learn some stuff, you know, like someone had to, to learn to, to, in order to improve, to progress. That's how it works. And, um, 
you know, I know that people can get bent out of shape about like, well, I, well, I bought your prototype. I bought your unfinished work, the, the work that you pro progressed on. I mean, that's kind of the reality of it. But like the other way of looking at that is they couldn't make the thing that they wanted to in the first place. Like they had to get over some hurdles themselves of like, well, you know, this was not possible. I, I what I wanted to achieve with this engine was not possible. Or if it is possible, it's a lot more work than just starting afresh. So I, I respect the decision to start fresh. Um, you know, it it definitely comes with caveats. But I mean, the, the real question is, did you get $20 of value out of Salt 1? And do you think you will get $20 value out of Salt 2? Do you think that, you know, you will continue to enjoy that? And hopefully enjoy the new features if not i mean you totally don't have to buy it right that's that is that option is there always but like i i always question like well how much complaining is really going to change anything about this i don't think that every single developer is like trying to cheat the consumer i i, I don't believe that and i'm you know like i've i've talked extensively about the um, consumer slash developer, you know, I say developer because everyone's a solo industry now, but like the consumer slash developer relationship and how it is kind of a conflict of interest. And occasionally one is going to be favored over the other when it comes to that relationship. Like you, you're going to have to make compromises. And sometimes that compromises on what the consumer wants. And sometimes the developer feels cheated because, you know, the, the consumer friendly practices that are put in place can hurt them. You know, I, I talked, I talked a bit about this when, uh, the, the idea of like, um, very short games, not passing the review process on, on steam. That's not a good way of explaining it, but basically like short games were getting refunded on steam because, because they were short, you know? So, I like to I like to look at these, you know, circumstances, these little miniature uh, like microcosms, and try and try and understand both sides of it. Uh, that doesn't make me a both sides person. That's just you know these these are rather trivial matters in the grand scheme of things, and that's I guess why I like to look at them is because they don't matter in the grand scheme of things, uh, rather than look at something that does matter, because then I realize how much things kind of suck right now. Uh, COVID slowed down their back patching. They just released a huge patch. Salt is Sea of Thieves for introverts. Just my game. Yeah. A huge patch and free content update for Below Zero in October, and they're now working on Subnautica. Um, yeah, I, like, I guess the whole point of that entire tangent was, uh, I think they should just not bother, to be honest. Like with Subnautica one, the the pop in sucks, but like just just put your focus and energy on your next venture. I would say it'd be nice, but like how much time and effort are you gonna have to commit to that, and how much like are people really gonna benefit from that? I don't know. I don't think it. Oh, you know what? I was gonna make another beacon. Hold on a second. How much does the beacon cost? I know it's very cheap. It is copper and titanium. Okay. Bimple got a C bus in the safe zone. Why is that bad? It's wild how grumpy gamers can be considering people don't complain nearly as much about movies or food they spend money on. Well, I would have to disagree with you there, Cactus. People do just as much complaining about movies. You should, like, I'll be browsing Facebook out of you know pure like okay this is very telling of me but eventually i just kind of run out of things to scroll on for twitter and instagram so i'll start scrolling facebook <laughs> like i have i have not nearly enough content i have to now scroll a third or fourth platform um and i'll see the amount of complaining that people do about the marvel or like the mcu oh the last thor movie was bad yeah i mean what else is new right what else is new or like okay here's a great example cactus how much complaining have you been hearing about uh the mario bros movie and and chris pratt and i'm someone who doesn't like chris pratt as the voice actor but like let's also admit how much complaining people are doing about that for a moment it's a lot of complaining isn't it for something that really doesn't matter <laughs> 
Like, good lord. <laughs> like, I'm I'm on your side, but maybe tone it back a bit. <laughs> maybe, maybe we do not need to uh, make this a hill we die on. You know, sometimes it just feels like kind of a lot. Poly, polyaniline. Hey, we can make polyaniline. How do I make hydrochloric acid? Hydrochloric acid. Oh, that's the deep shrooms. Oh, so we can make poly, uh, polyaniline. Poly yeah, um, what do you mean? People complain about movies for months after. Maybe it is because how much they are investing into the game, in, into the games. Well, I mean, yeah, that, like people see their, like I, I started this stream by talking about the Caves of Cud Discord. Look at how much complaining people will do because they can't be a jerk on a Discord that they, you know, don't have any, like it's, it's, it's like, you know, your $20 only buys you so much, right? Like, I, and like, I'm not talking about anyone in chat, just for the record. I'm just saying, like, you know, there are a lot of people who think it, that they get their rights and or uh, they get a right to do whatever they want for their $20, right? I'm not going to invoke the dreaded word, uh, the one I truly hate. I truly hate this word, but... Um, the E word, you know, the, the, the E word. Entitlement. I hate that word. Used so often to describe what should be kind of, you know, a given for certain things. Like, you know, um, I get, un I, I get people complaining about a game that is not finished on release. You know, I think it's, uh, uh, that's that's kind of why I appreciate the 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 idea the the culture of early access the the kind of slow burn that we've come to accept that you know like games are hard to develop and um, like this stuff takes time and not everyone can afford to 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 release a completed game I know that sounds bizarre but like for real. Some people take advantage of that, and then they never finish the game. Uh, I'm looking at you, Rocket, Mr. Daisy. This guy has jumped ship so many times and, like, released so many unfinished games and then gotten bored and decided to start some new venture so many freaking times. I have no idea why anyone gives him any amount of, of like, leeway of, of respect even or, or of, like... They, they take his word as any kind of given because it's every single time. Oh, I'm working on a new thing. This is my dream. Well, what about the last four dreams you released, my dude? My dude. I will make up for whenever I talk. Uh, I have a hard time taking seriously people who are like, I only get 15 hours of content from this 10 hour game. Yeah, that's fair. The, the whole uh, how many hours of game you get from a... Uh, how many hours of content you get from a game conversation kind of bothers me a little bit. It's, you know, it's an interesting conversation, and I'm not saying that there it's invalid. Uh, but I am going to say that sometimes both sides of that argument can get really kind of annoying. Oh, what am I doing? I, f I forgot that cutting these is bad. I was going to cut them for the seeds, but... I don't need them anymore. I'm just going to collect a few more. You are appreciated for being here and for the conversations you have. He's talking about me. I'm not talking about you, Kevbo. Uh, I'm, I, you know, I'm not necessarily going to, um, I'm not even going to talk about y your example, but I'm not talking about you. <laughs> you know, that's, you have, uh, you have your grievance and uh, I'll re respect it. And that's, you know, it, it's cut and dry ends there. Uh, I look at it like relationships. You don't get, get into one with the intention of other people changing. will change drastically. Don't emotionally invest that much into games, though. Yeah, I mean, like, let me, let me try and empathize, empathize from the other end for a moment. Um... I think that stuff kind of sucks in a lot of ways and um you know people not everyone realizes why things are bad in their life you know 
like they don't understand why they're getting cheated they understand that they are getting cheated but they don't understand why who's cheating them who's getting cheated like who how, why why can't i afford rent why is food so expensive why can't i like i can only afford the movies once a month um, you know, like I, I, I can't, I don't have time because I'm working two jobs, this kind of thing, you know, real stuff that sucks that I, I, sh I probably shouldn't even be talking about, but you know, like we're all in a sort of very, um, slow burn perpetual state of things kind of suck, um, a little bit. And, uh, and so you, you feel salty, you feel the slow burn salt, this malice kind of building up in you. And so, um, you know, when you buy a game for 20 bucks, for 10 bucks even, like that's like, that feels like a lot. Because, you know, maybe you can buy a few games a month if you're lucky. If you're like me, you can, you, can, you know, do more than that. But like, for some, like that's it, right? And then the game is bad. Like you do, it's, maybe it's not even bad. Maybe you just feel bad. You know, maybe you just feel angry. Maybe it just wasn't enough, you know, like maybe it's it was it, as much as it could have been and it there was no way it was going to live up to your expectations of ten dollars and man that sucks. I really don't like that. Okay, I have to leave now because I can't afford to get hit like that again. I'm sorry. I want to um, explore this area, but that guy is being a huge jerk. So you just you just feel frustrated and then you lash out at the developer and i know like uh, i'm offering quite a lot of forgiveness in a way or empathy towards an individual um who who might be ruining someone else's day who's also struggling you know like that's not fair either that sucks for them like they're they're in exactly the same situation as you you don't understand that like they had very little to do with that they're in their own situation, and it's bad as well. Um, all of this to say that, you know, like, I know maybe it's kind of cliche to say, maybe it's lame even, but like, the world is uh, kind of a salty place right now. And it's easy to forget why, or it's maybe it's, you know, like we're in the forest and we can't really see what's what's happening, who's trying who's really taking advantage of us what what is how are we being taken for advantage of and then we lash out at each other and lose sight of the big picture a little bit and uh things don't get better but uh i i think that that there is some you know like i can't explain everything obviously but i think that you know that is my theory is that things suck and so people suck that's kind of how it works. Asking me to have sympathy for gamers. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm asking a lot here. I'm not asking you to have sympathy for gamers. I am having sympathy for them in your stead. How about that? I'm not even having sympathy. I'm trying to empathize with them. Different. Um. Okay. I don't know. Is there a way to craft medkits? Hey Andrino, why is the why is this a sponky stream? What? What? Why is this a sponky stream? Uh Are rock punchers in this game or was it in below zero? I got real quick. Yeah, I mean sometimes that happens. It's hard to talk about people getting salty in any capacity without it getting real. Bimple is correct. <laughs> Jesus. No, no, actually, uh, wrong, bad, cho bad choice of words. Hey guys, did you know that Shakespeare died on his birthday? Do you know why that is? Because he was partying way too hard. He's partying way too hard. And he got alcohol poisoning. Oh, you might wonder why I bring this up. 
Um, I, I like to think of that occasionally because um, people don't necessarily hear the second part and they uh, they forget causation is a thing. Wow, he died on his birthday. Isn't that auspicious? Not even auspicious. Auspicious implies some kind of positive end there. Isn't that like, you know, wow. That's what a coincidence. He died on his birthday. I mean, because he drank too much. Shakespeare was a, was a partier, my dude. He liked to party. Do you think that I bet you Shakespeare had some problematic viewpoints? You think? What do you think that Shakespeare thought that would be considered problematic today? Uh, I got some magnetite. I need more magnetite. Medkits can be crafted with some fiber, which is made from two kelp samples obtained with a knife. HP also regenerates when your food and water meters are above 75. Okay, so I'll eat some food, and I'm, but I'm going to make some uh, medkits because um, I, I keep getting e ejected. You know what? You know what I should do is I should make some armor for my suit. here right uh no it's not here i thought i could make um new a new outfit for myself am i wrong on cyclops shield maybe i looked at this and i thought it was for my own outfit i don't think that's true though i'm pretty sure i thought i saw ah reinforced dive suit we need synthetic fibers okay synthetic I i'm pretty sure i have the diamonds necessary synthetic fibers are expensive i under i i, I feel I don't even see them. Oh, here they are. Benzene. Benzene is made from blood oil. Okay, this should be okay. I can- I need to make- I need to get some fiber mesh. Okay. You should also craft the unusual doll with the base builder tool. Oof. You know, I, I appreciate Markiplier, um, because, I, you know, we need- we need a few content creators that aren't problematic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna go Where am I? Okay, we're gonna go Northwest uh, I'm gonna go get some um, Some rubber What do you call it? Magnetite is easy to obtain The jelly shroom cavern Look for the life pod signal That is near a cave and being attacked I don't uh, just to be clear I don't really need a uh, magnetite for any specific purpose porpoise <laughs> um, excuse me excuse me excuse me excuse me Inventory full? What are you talking about? Oh. God damn it. Uh, let's drink some water. Excuse, excuse me, please. Sir? Sir? Med kits can be crafted with some fiber. I need to drop off my stuff. I was dropping off my stuff and then I stopped for some reason. I might put a thingy here. 
like an entryway. Is my my base is like painfully uh like vanilla, vanilla isn't it? Hmm. Okay, let's uh let's make that rubber or whatever it is. Wait, I need creep vine samples, not the rubber. Oops. Okay, well, you know what? I'm just gonna make the um, lubricant from it. Because I can always. Mm, don't finish that sentence. What is that other thing there? Cyclops engine efficiency module. I should probably plop that in there, huh? No harm in that. Save me a bit of uh, space. I, I have to, I'm going to have to make some more room. Okay, here we go. There we go. You could always start building vertically. Could I? I don't think I could. It's as vertical as it can go. Um... What was I doing? <laughs> you distracted me. <laughs> oh, right. I'm going to go get some creep vine. I'm going to take the sea moth because it, 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 it's not that it's far. It's just that this takes long, slightly longer than it really has to. Desperately need that Cyclops engine to fish with C module. Jap Septify Jack Septikai demanded it and the devs caved to it. And it's literally mandatory. Really? Hmm. You know what we were just talking about, chat? I feel like that's uh maybe a good example of the kind of thing we've been talking about. Can't even get to the scanner room. What do you mean I can't get to the scanner room? Well, I, I tried to build a ladder. I really, really did try to build a ladder, but it wouldn't work. It refused to work every single time I tried. It just didn't want to. I can get in there. Do I even need to get in there? The scanner room seems rather pointless. If I'm being honest. Okay, to make synthetic fibers, do I need synthetic fibers? Sorry, do I need fiber mesh? Yes, we need benzene. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make these into synthetic fibers. I'm going to need a lot more of these, so we're going to be doing a couple of runs. Um, oh, right. We can make some first aid. All right, let's turn these into first aid kits. And then I'll turn the next couple into synthetic fiber. If you remove the solar panels from your multi-purpose room and then build another one directly on top of it, you can build vertically. Just rebuild the solar panels on top. Uh, multi Six titanium. Why am I doing this? For more storage space? You know what I'd like, actually? I'd really like to... I know I can't afford it. I'd really like the observatory. Actually, it's not that much. Enameled glass? Two enameled glass? That's not bad. Can I... Can I, uh... Put plants and stuff in there? That seems like... That, that seems like it would be really nice. It's only two enameled glass. We can afford that. I, I made way too much enameled glass... Somewhere. Where is all my enamel glass? Yo, what? What? What happened to all my enamel glass? Okay, well, we'll just make some more. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for chat to tell me why this is a bad idea, but I really want the observatory just because it looks nice. I'd like to have some sunlight. I can I, I I'm totally cool with what you're suggesting me to do. Just for the record, ladders are for multi-purpose rooms to multi-purpose room. Okay. 
Okay. Um, alright, I'm not seeing a reason for me not to do this, so I'm gonna go ahead and make my enamel glass. They don't work if you try and put ladders in special rooms. Oh. So are you saying don't make the observatory because then the ladder won't work? Uh, literally right after I made the thing. Okay, well... That's fine. I have some enamel glass for later, I suppose. God damn it. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, I'm always be doing something wrong uh, at some point. I also didn't really want to have to use up all the titanium. Uh, make both. And in fact, put plants in the observatory. Okay, I'll make both. The problem is, um, I don't know. The problem is this is annoying. That's the problem. <laughs> Just connect everything to a multi-purpose room, then it will be fine. Yeah, I know. I, I I hear what you're saying. It's just really annoying because. Like, why? Just let me build a ladder up to a special room. Like, why? Why you gotta be, a sp like, annoying about this? And I just used my first aid kit. I really didn't mean to do that. Just just let me do what I want, you know? Just let me do it. Stop it. Stop being annoying. Um, chat's really not gonna like why I haven't done this Cyclops thing yet. The reason I haven't done the Cyclops, like, gone in there, really, is because I don't like it. <laughs> it makes it scary to me. I don't know why. There's something about it that's just intimidating to me. Okay. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, chat. There we go. Look at that. Look how much I'm doing it. I guess I could also just make a really tall one. Hey, if I made it, like, super tall, would that work? Would that be nice, you think? Or would I then not be able to have a, ha uh, a ladder? Cyclops Chan is thick. I understand I'd have to make two multi-purpose rooms for this to work, right? So I'd, I'd build one here and then one here, right? But th would that work? I guess I could do this first. I did everything wrong there. Do I get the materials back for that entryway? Ladders connect one level to another. Build directly one on top of the other. Oh, so I did it wrong. I thought I had to build the ladder separately. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> My God, Chat. You know, sometimes I'm not wrong for thinking that the, it was supposed to work that way. You know, you know why I did it that way is because it had the connection, right? Uh, okay, here we go. Everything is awful. You're not wrong. This is why I leave negative reviews on games that weren't 300 hours long. <laughs> Look at that. He did it. Bimple did it. Wait a minute. Um, did I, I just, I just hurt the hull integrity. Am I going to have to do some more of that stupid reinforcement? I need more lithium for that. Okay. Uh, now I can build a ladder. 
Oh, hey, I can do it now. How much does the ladder cost? Two titanium. Wow, we're really blowing through our titanium. I actually can't rebuild any of my uh, solar panels currently. The chat community for this game sucks. We live to suffer. <laughs> okay. Um, excuse me, where the heck is my door? Excuse me? Where is my door? Why? What, what is happening here? I don't understand. Explain! Explain to me! I can't get in at all now. Oh, our, oh, there's two. Oh my god. Okay, I, I see. All right, chat. I understand. There's another floor above this one. Chat, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I hate this. I hate the way you build in this game. <laughs> okay. There it is. This is not awkward at all. I love this, in fact. Okay, we we done it. We done it. And I still have some titanium left. I could build my observatory room if I want. If I really want to. I have a whole extra room now. That I'm never going to use. Bimple hates going up. I kind of do. I thought that I was going to get like an extra spacious kind of roof. Like uh, I thought I was going to get a room that was bigger. You know, instead of having three layers. Okay, Chad. What do we want? I I'm going to wait for Chad to finish before I start talking. Hold on, I have to sneeze. Um, do we want an observatory room at the top floor here? Or do we want one, like, here? Never seen anyone have building a base as the biggest problem in some time. This is usually the easiest, most casual aspect of the game. Well, it takes all types, you know? So do we want near the sun? I want a tunnel to Opius side out. Well, that way, I'd have to, uh, I'd have to make a golden beehive fall through the floor in order for that to happen. We could do something fun like this. Middle. You want, you want the middle. Alright. You, I recommend you shut up. Twin swords. I mean, I understand why you added that. Thank you for that. Appreciate you specifying that I needed to have it connected to the base. Appreciate you, bud. I understand. Thank you. Even the game is getting sassy. A little bit. The game's like, it is recommended for you to not suck at base building. Just to do it properly, forehead. Idiot. Don't you know that you have to have three layers in order to have an observer observatory? Stupid, dumb jackass. <laughs> I 
I, for one thing, Bimple did a wonderful job. <laughs> Thank you, paid intern. <laughs> Appreciate you. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. Would you like a beverage? Yes, I would. Thank you. Well, then you should s try not sucking so much at video games, nerd. Oh. You even gave me the beverage with salt. Thanks for that. Now I have to go get titanium, otherwise I can't rebuild my, uh, solar panels. <laughs> so proud. <laughs> uh, Neville, thank you. I needed that. I needed that. I haven't looked in the observatory. We're gonna- that's gonna be our little treat for once we, uh, rebuild my solar panels. Who wants to tell him he didn't need a three-story multi-purpose room to get an observatory? Listen. I understand I didn't literally need three layers, but see, chat was all like, You don't have access to the scanner room. You need access to the scanner room. Get them, get them, get them access to the scanner room. You don't have access. What the heck? You can't have a second. You can't have a second entrance point. That's just weird. Stop it. Stop being bad at video games. <laughs> so I was like, okay, well, I have to have, I'm going to, I got to, I got to, I got to, Build vertically. Build vertically. Build vertically. So, you know. And then, as long as we're connecting to the scanner room, I was also going to have, uh, you know, uh, an observatory. Just swim to the aurora and look on the ocean floor. It spawns like 300% scrap metal. Okay. What is that? Is that my base? It is... what? Oh, that's the... that's the... submarine. Do I still have that thing on me? Yeah, I do. Alright, let's chunk that thing in there. Go ahead. Listen, buddy. You don't belong here. Ow! <laughs> Yo, everything is okay. Everything is fine and normal and and fine. Shh, shh, it's fine. It's fine. There you go. Efficiency module has been chunked in. Everything. Uh, I think everything's kind of floating right now. Everything is not okay, actually. Uh, what's gonna happen here? Do you think? Is this a is this okay? Okay. All systems online. Chad, if you were slightly worried there, I don't blame you. <laughs> More room for decoration. Chat. Chat, I'm going to fill that entire second layer with Markiplier dolls. Okay, okay, we're gonna fill it to the brim with Markiplier dolls, okay? That's my new goal. How much does a Markiplier doll cost? One glass and titanium. Okay, a new goal is acquired. More room for- nope, nope. Not doing that. We're not- no storage lockers in there. I literally haven't stopped worrying since Pimple started playing this game. I mean, that's fair. And correct. Can't really tell what is and is not scrap.
Oh. I still have the glass on me from the solar panels. Have I been here before? Am I heading in the right direction right now? I am heading in the right direction. I don't remember these kind of uh, shelf mushrooms. Markamo Shrine. Oh, oh goody. I got some gold. Wait, what? Where did this come from? Okay, two more. I don't like this area for uh, important and understandable reasons. Go ahead and collect that. <clears throat> the pop in. Can we fly through that? No, that's too tight. Okay, so plan. Uh, I'm gonna rebuild the solar panels and then uh, with whatever I have left, I'm gonna start building the Markiplier, Markiplier Shrine. Fear is, is this game's best tool. It's the only thing Subnautica Classic does better than Below Zero. Even when you know you're safe, the crushing pressure of that water at the depths wears on your psyche. Wait, I have to build the... Oops. No, we're gonna... Make ourselves some titanium. Now we're going to rebuild our solar panels. Buddy, you're not supposed to be here, okay? This is the save zone. Can I build it on this roof? I think so, right? Wouldn't make sense if I couldn't, honestly. Uh, I like how I can see the submarine. What? What are you doing to my submarine, lad? What are you guys doing? Are you okay? Can't really, I don't know the direction. Okay, hold on, east, west. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna build them this way. If they were better solar panels, they would pivot, but they don't pivot, so. 
uh, still, I, you know, my my anal retentive nature is going to build the solar panels the way they should be built to make sense. Um, I'll tell you what I am going to do is I'm going to set up some other solar panels just to complete the row. Though I don't necessarily need to finish these, but you know, it's fun. There we go. So this will be what it looks like when it's done. I think they do pivot in below zero. Everything in below zero is better. The way they should be built, stacked right on top of each other. Okay, yeah, I understand that they don't they, they're not really pivoting efficiently, right? They should there should be a bit more room between them. I get that. Um Never rely on Altera to give the their customer employees the best. Count on them to give them the cheapest. I guess it, if I was going to build them the way they should be built is I would have them angled kind of like conforming to the shape of the dome because then it makes that that makes the most sense right okay now we start working on the markiplier room how much titanium do i have left uh, enough i need my glass not not glass sorry i need my quartz there's a quartz i know i have more quartz than that I, I really don't have that much more quartz. I guess I have more titanium also in the uh, in the moth, which I should grab. And I'm gonna need it because I am I am gonna build some containers, chat. Don't worry. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm wondering, just to get the ball rolling, if I should, uh, build a couple of shelves. How much do these cost? One each? Let's do, like, two. Okay, and then we're gonna, we're gonna start with one. Uh, do I not have enough on me? Oh, does it require glass? Oh, glass, not not quartz. Wow, these are expensive. You were serious? I never joke when it comes to Markiplier. All right. Wow. It really is him. They didn't even, like, try and make an in-universe content creator that he would, like, transpose on. Okay, um, the next thing is I'm gonna build some, uh, we're gonna do some, some storage units wall locker. No, not wall, just locker. Oh, no, I need quartz! Oh, no! Alright, chat, uh, I'm gonna need to take a, a short five-minute break. I'm just going to grab some coffee, some more coffee. Uh, I'll be right back. Give me, give me a moment. I'm going to leave you with some nice music. Oh, no, no, wrong button. Shoot. All right, hold on. I'll be right back. Uh, see you soon.
Hello. This has gone on insanely long by now. I'm gonna try to shepherd Bimple into the end game. <laughs> no. No, this has become a project now. This is a hobby. I'm sorry, chat. Sorry. I'm going to try and sh <laughs> shepherd Bimple into the end game. No. No, I don't think so. I think I like this game now. I also really like building in it. But thou must. Mm. I don't know about that one, Dave. Um, okay. I'm going to break down the rest of my titanium and we're going to go out. I want to, I want to again, go to that cave. Don't worry. I'm, I am, I haven't lost sight of my actual goals here. Oh, wait, I wanted to make that suit. How much, how much does that suit cost? I think, oh, I need to go get some more synthetic fibers. Okay, let's go get some synthetic fibers. Do I have enough inventory space right now? Not really, you know what? Let's go ahead and store some stuff. Thou, thou hath, thou hath seen my wrath. It will never be complete. It might, it might be complete one day if you have faith. Wrong way. I didn't mean to consume it. Oops. I didn't even know you could consume these. Okay. How many do I have in here? Three. So I have an odd number. Hmm. I didn't know you could cut them down completely. I thought they were just like permanent forever. Uh, I am going to farm out my, my deep shrooms a little bit. Do one more and then I'm gonna make um, med kits out of the rest. Oh, never mind. I have to turn them all into synthetic. Or I guess fiber mesh. We're gonna have to get some blood. Blood nonsense. We're just going to dump these in here for now. Uh, I guess along with this. Just for now. Um, getting the rest of the synthetic fibers or synthetic whatever, the, the creep vine. I'll turn this one into a med kit. So now I need the blood fine. I need three of them, right? Blood oil. 
I think I only need the one to make one. I should be good. Okay, synthetic fiber. Done. What do I need next? For the reinforced suit, I need the following. I need two diamonds. Okay, I have that. Two diamonds. Providing physical protection, enhanced survival, and extreme temperatures. I'm surprised it doesn't need the old suit in order to make. Reinforced glove. Oh, wow. It makes both. Is there really any reason to keep the old one? If I... Oh, I guess this is radiation lined. So there is a reason to keep the radiation suit. Because it's radiation lined. I keep asking this. I think I've asked this pretty much every single time I've streamed this game. But have I not dealt with the radiation problem? Is that not like permanently solved? I think it is, right? I don't I don't need to worry about radiation anymore. You don't need rad suit anymore. Can I just throw this away? Can I just yeet it into the sea? If you fix the row, you'll never need the radiation suit again. Okay, thank you. Confirmed. I don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, I want to store this titanium, but I don't have any more storage space. Let's go get some glass. Or sorry, uh, quartz, and then I'm going to make some lockers. And I know where to get it. Pretty sure I can get it in my tube. Where is the tube? There it is. There's my tube. What, you don't have a tube, chat? I think I pretty much collected all of the glass in here, but there is a little bit left. Damn. They really do. There really is like nothing left in here. I, I pl plundered the tube. Oh, wait, no, there's a bit more. I, I, I sense chat is worried. I sense that chat is a little bit concerned because they see me collecting quartz and titanium. All of the things, in fact, that one would need to make an army of Markiplier dolls. But uh, worry not, chat. This, the, uh, the materials I am collecting are not, in fact, for Markiplier dolls. Get out of here, bud. Ow. They're not for Markiplier dolls. They are, in fact, um, so that I can... Oh, God, there's another one. So I can make some lockers, because I, I really have just, like, run out of space. What is that? What is that? This is, like, a giblet? What is that? What are these things? Should I be collecting sulfur still? The reason I collect sulfur when I see it is because it, it doesn't seem to be a very common material. And so I figure if, like, at, when it comes to a point where I'll need it, I'll be glad I had it. My inventory is full. What am I getting rid of? Uh, let's get rid of this nutrient block. 
I need the I need the glass. Okay, if it's copper. If it was anything else, I would have uh, just let it lie. Wasn't there another thing here? I thought I saw another rock here. Am I seeing things? There's quartz. I wouldn't mind collecting the quartz. I'm gonna drop a titanium for the. Actually, let's let's drop two titaniums for the copper and the quartz. Oh. been a while since um like I, I i it's been a while since i've cared about oxygen honestly but um i always need copper they are for the shelves to put the dolls on yes correct No, I need the titanium and the quartz to make uh, lockers. Kind of don't want to put any lockers up there, chat. I'm sorry. I kind of don't want to do that. I kind of just want to like fill this room. Like I really don't want to have a separate room that I have to go to for storage. So um, can I remove this? Can I, can I place this here some, somehow? Okay, we'll put this here for now. Just for now. Go to your moon pool, use the upgrade station and make a taser module for your Seamoth, then go west. I sense I am being corralled. I will do as you say, Kevbo, but I, uh, I, I, I am I am trying to accomplish a thing. Hold on a second. I promise I will do as you say. Okay, we're gonna let's let's pick up this, put it on that. Can I put it on that? Yeah, I can. Cool. Oh my god! Please place it. How do I place it? Oh my god. It won't let me place it. It wants to open the locker instead. Was it How do I how do I place Oh, it's left click. Or sorry, right click. There we go. Okay, let's pick this up. Can we put it there? Ah, oh, that's such a bummer. <gasps> Wait a minute. I saw a fleeting moment of green. Yeah, it looks stupid, but I'm cool with it. I don't think it's going to work on this side. <gasps> secret room? Yo, secret room. I'm going to Shawshank Redemption this. There you go. Okay, um, I'm going to store some stuff. Hold on a second. We're going to store the radiation suit. There we go. That looks all right. I mean, it, it doesn't look great, but it, it looks okay. Okay. Another locker. Is this Minecraft? I don't know. Is it? Can I can I shove another one in there? I don't think I can. I think this bulbo plant is in the way. Can I put another, oh, can we do another, like a wall locker? There we go, that, that works. Is this a Minecraft reference? <laughs> I guess I could have done wall lockers along here. Yeah, I mean, this works. 
they're not as big but you know I, I i don't dislike them they're fine so now this room is like truly multi-purpose Uh, I actually hate that. <laughs> I'm gonna take that down. Uh, I like it in theory, but it, it's kind of bad. Okay, I'm sorry, Natural Selection 2. I like you. I like, I thought you were a fun game. You're, you're, you're good and all, but you go on wall behind lockers, sorry. Bimple's base makes me want to vomit. Yes, it is, as they say, form over... Wait, no, not form over... Function over form. Okay, um, I kind of want to organize things a little bit. Things are a little bit, uh, haberdash. Wait, we, we built all the lockers we need, right? Do I have any titanium left? I don't have any titanium, do I? Oh, I do. You know what that means, chat. You could put posters in different rooms. Yeah, you know what? That's not a bad idea. I don't dislike that idea. You know, it's a it's a process. It's a process. Didn't mean to do that. There you go. And I'm just gonna anticipate um, having more shelves in the future. You know, for a specific purpose. I don't know. So we're just gonna sorry missies the uh the posters are, are getting moved including the cat poster we're gonna take that and we're gonna put that on there i don't understand why we left bracket There we go. Why did we make the button to rotate the object the same button as uh, switching inventory item? I liked the cat poster never to be seen again. That's not true. We're going to be visiting the Markiplier room every day. This actually helps me serve a, pur a different purpose that I didn't intend to, but um, that shelf there was actually really annoying for me. There you go. Simp simple. Taser. West. But I wanted to revisit the cave, the one that I keep going to and getting teleported out of my... Uh, out of my moth. I'm having so much fun. Don't, don't you, don't you, don't you want me to have fun? Uh, all right, we're going to make another med kit. I'm going to grab some water. I have water, right? Yeah, I do have one water. We will never leave. I should probably bring some food. I don't know what the food, sh what, what form the food should take. Let's uh, snack up a little bit.
Didn't mean to do that. Okay, switch. There we go. Okay. I still have a titanium on me that I don't want to have on me. Okay, there we go. Bimple is not allowed to have fun. Uh, let me just check to see if I emptied the Seamoth. I did. Good. Good job, me. I did it. Uh, hold on. There's There was also one last thing. Oh, okay, you want me to make the taser. I will do that. But also, I think I dropped off my other med kit. Yeah, I did. Look at that. Bimple remembered. Good for Bimple. All right, so you want me to make the taser mod. Seamoth upgrades. These are depth modules, not the taser upgrades. Do I have to have the, the moth attached to uh, the moon pool? I'm assuming they do, right? Uh, I should be able to make it just here. Seamoth modules, perimeter defense system. Is this what you want me to make? Not the torpedo system, I assume. So I need polyaniline and a wiring kit. I think I should be able to do that. Poly polyaniline is, I can't remember. I, I just figured out how to make that. Oh, right. It's the hydrochloric acid, which I make from the deep shrooms and salt and gold. Okay, so let's go farm some deep shrooms. I do want this to be fun, so do what is fun. Whenever you want to progress, just let me know. I got you. No, th this is a process. It's a process. Okay, let's grab some of these and then we're gonna... Let's just go ahead and cut all of them and then uh, plant the rest. There you go. I should have enough to make the hydrochloric acid. Perimeter defense system is the all-purpose taser. Gotcha. I figured. I figured that was the case. Now we need our salt. Where is our salt? <laughs> I should ask Kevbo. Kevbo, where is our salt? <laughs> um, all right, hydrochloric acid, and then we need gold, which I have tons of. Although, I don't know, I have been depleting it a little bit. Also, why is there a Bulbo seed in here? That's not correct. I don't know how that happened. Where's my gold? There it is. Okay. Polyaniline. Okay, so is polyaniline in what? Uh, wiring kit. Okay. Wiring kit is two silver. Oh man, I haven't needed silver in a while, but I guess I do have it. I think I have a silver over here that I'd like to just... Oh yeah, I have a lot of silver over there. So let's... I'm gonna be organizing things over time. I know things have been haberdash for quite a long time. Wiring kit. Set... Salt is located on the, the ocean floor, especially amongst the red grass plateau. We have a salt maker already. I know. I know. It was a joke. It, it was a joke. All right. Sea moth. Uh, I really ought to switch the the um, prawn so that it's not. Because I like I, I want I should be charging the sea moth when it's not in use. Because I use it far more than the prawn. Equip. Okay, so do is this another one of those active use items? Yes, it is. I am actually running out of juice. Did I just kill something? Yo, they do love farting on my freaking submarine, don't they? We don't need power. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and charge this emoth. I'm sorry. Actually, you know what I'll do? Can I um, pull out the power cell? 
in the Kraken. Why am I calling it the Kraken? The Prawn. How do I pull out? What? Why did you do that? Excuse me? Please. So police. Okay, pull out the power cell. And um, we're just going to unload it. And then this is actually a much more elegant solution is I'm just going to swap the power cells and that way the power cell is charging. Wrong side. No. Yo, the thing has two power cells in it. Since when? The prawn gets two power cells. Yo, what? Jimmy. Why does your mom let the prawn suit have two power cells? Wow. Well, this is actually ideal. The prawn suit should always stay in this thing then. Because, uh, yeah, that's that's kind of ideal. That's like the best way to charge power cells that we've got. Uh, I see we are losing power. Is this thing like fully loaded? Could stand to use some more. Uh, we can throw some deep shrooms in there for now. They are highly acidic, but I'll, I'll, I'll shove in some more mushrooms. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, clean that because we don't need as many mushrooms because we've got deep shrooms which serve two purposes now, I think. Kind of want a second bioreactor. You see our power is like not quite okay right now. I know it's because we're charging a power cell and as soon as it becomes daytime, then it, it won't be nearly as much of a problem. I understand this, but yeah, I'm not going to worry about it right now, but I wouldn't mind having better power solutions in the future. Okay, so we have, uh, well, hmm. I keep saying this, but I really want to get the, bat the, the the normal battery charger. Hold on a second. Let me just quickly look to see how that is made. And if it's complicated, then I won't worry about it. But I have a bunch of batteries that really need charging. Uh, do, 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 do. I thought I learned how to make it in the last... No, I don't know how to make it. Man man that's like the last thing i need that is like kind of necessary i kind of i don't entirely trust bimple to power his bioreactor why i just i just stocked it full of mushrooms what's wrong um i i let me just get some fresh batteries. I think I still have some fresh batteries. Yes, I do. Uh, I'm going to find a place to store my dead batteries. One, two, those are all dead. One, two, that's, that one's dead. That, there we go. Are these all dead? Oh God, they are. They're all dead. Shoot. I really need that battery charger. <laughs> I know you've told me that it's in the mushroom forest, but I couldn't find it. I looked. I did. I looked. I promise. Where is my... Oh, there it is. Big sport. Can't believe Bimple did that to his bioreactor. What? A magnetite you need and the battery charger can be found in the jelly shroom caves. Let me look to see where that is. Those are the ones near, uh, aren't those the ones near the, my currently marked, uh, this one? Stranded near a cave system and under attack. Isn't it, isn't it that one that is, uh, close to the jelly shroom, jelly shroom caves? We'll go there. This is a, this is a box that has been needed to be checked for quite a while. I'm just messing with you. Okay. Well, you, you succeeded in messing with me. I thought that stuffing the bioreactor full of jelly shrooms 
or uh, acid shrooms was was in fact a good thing and then you and then you led me uh, to believe that in fact it was not a good thing in fact that 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 it was a bad thing and that made me wonder and question whether or not i had been doing a good thing to find the jelly shroom cave go to life pod 17. yep that's the one i've come here many a time and i've looked extensively for the uh for the battery charger and i have to to no avail to, to zero progress i've looked now that being said i also looked quotation marks around my base for the beacon and um found out later that in fact my quotation marks looking for the beacon was uh, kind of garbage so I'm willing to believe I just did not look in the right place. Bioreactor explodes. Now when you say there's magnetite here, do you mean in small form or big form? I noticed there's materials that get, get uh, kicked up. Is that stuff that I want? Look for the Degassi base at the other end of the Jelly Shroom Cave. Wasn't I just here? Keep going east. Okay. Magnetite can be found in the small form, gatherable with your hands on the floor of the cave. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. There, I see some now. This place does give me a little bit of concern. Good thing I brought another battery. Oh, there's more. Okay, we're going east. There is nothing in these caves that remotely approaches the dangers of the surface. These, uh, these guys kind of spook me a little bit. Are they totally fine? I guess they are fine. Well, that guy just kind of dinged me a bit, but I guess that's fine. Um, I think he's dinging me more. I, he almost destroyed the sea moth. I know I saw more magnetite. They are super infected. I didn't realize that some infected creatures were more dangerous than others. I didn't know that that was a thing. Welcome aboard, Captain. Use the taser anytime they get close to scare them off. Oh. Good idea. I did make this thing for a reason, I guess, right? Let's let's try it out. Bazap.
more magnetite. Question, um, is there any way to get through this game without getting infected? Like, I got infected, but is there a way to not get infected? So you don't have to do the extra step of, like, having to go, what is it, like, a thousand meters underwater? They aren't more dangerous, they just have green crystals all over them. I'm still looking for, uh, I am looking for the, the base, by the way. I'm not just kind of collecting magnetite. Oh. It won't let me collect that one. It's a, in a inve invisible wall. Infection is literally the only story this game has. What about all the stuff involved? All those emails? I know that's not what you mean, but. Wow, we got a diamond out of that. Eh. Gary. Okay, so there's the base. I'm just waiting for it to pop in. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> so I did come here seeking riches. Uh, I guess I can... Oh, that, that was not a good thing to eat, actually. I should not have eaten that. Um, I don't have any food on me. That was a mistake. I guess I can cook something. I have my, my super knife. Okay. Um, scanning time. Oh, we have the modification station fragment. I don't really need that. Are you screw? Are you messing with my ship, dude? Stop it. He won't stop. Get out of here. Okay. So I did come here, as I say, seeking out the battery charger. Could not find it for the life of me. the wrong way. Is that is it is that it right there? Nope. I already collected that. The fact that Bimple doesn't scan everything like the jellies makes me want to scream. All right, I'll scan the jellies. OK, 
Hey, hold on. I'm just gonna go back for air, but I mean, like, I, I went through and I did not see it. I, I, I did, I, I went through there. I even went up into the observation. Okay, we're gonna get our air back. Look behind the base outside. Okay. Oh, is that? No, that's the, the gun. Oh, is that it? No, that's the modification station. Is this it? No, oh, modification station. Stasis rifle. Stasis rifle. Scanning everything. We do be scanning everything now. I mean, do I need titanium right now? Yeah, that's fine. Um, I feel like I, I got everything here. Maybe I'm being uh, defeatist about this, but I don't know if it, there's anything else here. Wall planter. I don't think I got the wall planter. Okay, I mean, that's nice. I don't think that serves me at all, but we did get the wall planter. I'm gonna keep looking. I am gonna keep looking, but I am not, I'm not seeing it. Jerk face is back. Are you making your way over here? Cause dude, you're in for a shock. Far side of the base? There's a stasis rifle. Um, if it's in any way obvious, I've checked pretty much every part of it. I've checked like everything. This is a modification station. That lithium? What is this? Oh, that's magnetite. Eh! If RNG didn't place the battery charger here, then the lovely game that is original Sonaka is gonna make you scavenge all four of the red grass plateau wrecks. Why does this guy love this place so much right now? He's being kind of a jerk face. Welcome aboard, Captain. Um, I'm gonna say it's not here and that you are correct. I'm gonna have to go do that. But we accomplished one thing. We did get a ton of uh, magnetite. So not all is lost. Not all is uh, a waste. Not all is wasted. It's all good. Uh, 
Um, I have a little bit of room left, and there's actually a ton of room left in the uh, the moth. So I'm gonna go ahead and store some stuff here. Remember the last time? Well, not the last time I came here. Remember when I came here and accidentally dropped my air container and died? Lithium, nice. More lithium. I, I could also have used more lithium. So this is a very nice. Diamonds? Diamonds are forever, you know? More magnetite. Go up above the Degassi base. There's an exit to the red grass plateau right above you. Go up above the... Okay. I will go back. Didn't realize there was an access point here. Is there any useful materials here? That will never not be funny. Huh. Okay, so we're in a red grass plateau right now. Uh, we must be at the one where is my base. My base is there north, northwest. So we're at the one, I guess, southeast. Uh, there is a wreck here, quite close. We can check that out real quick. Ha <laughs> There is, uh, there is a wreck here, but, um, you know, we'll have to, we'd, we'd have to be very lucky to find exactly what we're looking for the first try. Is the charger really that important? You have the prawn suit? No. Well, okay. So the prawn suit is good for charging the power cells, but it doesn't charge regular batteries, which I need for tools. Um, and right now I don't have actually any like good method of charging my regular batteries. It's kind of a problem. It's a little bit of a problem. Um, this is kind of interesting. I don't remember checking that out. So, uh, hence why I'm, I'm looking at like why I care at all. You, you power cells are a solved problem. I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to build the power cell charger because honestly, what I have right now is better. Um, If I go too far west, I will find myself in the dunes. Is this the dunes? And if I continue west, will I be going into dangerous territory? I think so. This is the Eastern Red Grass Plateau. Oh, the new player and a little skittish and recharging batteries is a solid strat for new players. Well, I mean, I, you know, I just don't have any means of doing it. I could make more batteries whenever I want or need new batteries. That is also uh, a means, but I'd rather be able to charge them. Uh, look for wrecks and use a laser cutter in them. This is cool. I know I've been down here, or at least in something like that. Hey chat, what did we, what did everyone think of the Mario movie trailer? Uh, I already brought it up before, but I thought it was... Okay, I gotta, I gotta go kill some, uh, some fish. Hold on a second. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to cut it.
Where'd it go? Uh, spade fish. Uh, I guess I'll eat it. No, let's drop it and then I'll cut it. Okay, consume. Hey, buddy. Buddy. What are you doing, buddy? I don't watch movies. <laughs> The absolute lad does not watch movies. Watching it now. <laughs> okay. I like it. I know there's a lot of, um, a lot of talk about Chris Pratt and I get it. Uh, and I'm not really a fan either. But I think that there's a positive. Wait, was that Reginald? What do you mean, Reginald? Was that like a special fish I just killed? Why are these guys grouped up like this? I might need to go get my hoodie because it's kind of cold right now. I am, I am not very warm right now. Uh, that looks like a wreck or is that just a rock? No. Um, I like to look at the positives of the Mario movie and also of Chris Pratt's business is I, I think that to something that's going to happen is there's going to be a lot of people doing their own voiceovers. Okay, here we go. For uh, they'll do their own voiceovers of the Mario movie. Sorry, Mario. I know people get really uppity about that. Um, And, you know, it'll be a, a fun little thing that people can do. And then the Mario movie will belong to everyone, not just, to, you know, to one company in a way. Can I open this? Use the Sarnar Rex to have a blue shimmer while everything else is red. Oh, didn't know that. Let me try and get in here. Okay, so I haven't been here, so this actually might be it. <gasps> Yo, battery charger. He's done it. He's done it. What's that? Oh, another battery charge. Okay, so this was this was the zone they wanted me to come to. What is that? Water? Okay, I could do that. Use that. Yo chat, we're finally done. We don't have to worry about the battery charger anymore. Thank you, based God. I talked a little bit about it before, but 
I mean, I, and I know this is not an original take, but I think that Danny DeVito would have been a good choice for Mario. Um, and he's also a, a like a well liked name, you know. Like, I don't think there's many, if any, people that don't like that that truly dislike Danny DeVito. I think he's pretty universally liked. Maybe I'm wrong, but like, whatever. Chris Pratt, it's fine. He's an everyman. They're clearly going for every man, and maybe Danny DeVito would have been too uh, charismatic for Mario. Maybe Mario needs to be, uh, needs to be not charismatic. You know, there's something to be said about that. You know, maybe M Mario needs to be way more basic and uh, just like really uh, forgettable in a way. Movie's not about Mario; it's about everyone else. Maybe. I don't know. I don't agree with that at all, actually. I left for a while, too. So have you all found any Markipliers yet? I, I have built um, three Markipliers so far. The So far, I've been focusing on uh, getting the battery charger, getting my suit upgraded, and now that I have everything I need, I'm going to head... Well, I'm going to build the battery charger, first of all, and then we're going to head uh, west. Because uh, I've been I've been uh, kind of blue balling Kev Bo for some progress. I have been not progressing much this game, but I've been enjoying this. I mean, I, I enjoy the kind of the slow burn because I don't like going deep underwater and messing with creatures and critters. It's not my idea of fun. Okay, so we need copper wire and wiring kit. I thought I had enough for copper. Oh wait, it's in electronics. I don't have enough for copper wire. I only have one copper on me. Okay. Maybe Mario needs to be more basic and forgettable. So Bimple wants Mario to be like Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog has way more character than Mario. Sonic the Hedgehog was made as a response to Mario and was always given more attitude than Mario. Like, he has some kind of personality, you know? Uh, you don't have to like the personality, but uh, it, it is, like, a pretty objectively true that Sonic has, w like, way more personality than Mario. Um, no offense to uh, Charles Martinet. Charles Martinet does, does a very good job of uh, making Mario, like, giving him characterisms without necessarily giving him a character. You know? Um, okay, so we need to make the wiring kit two silver. Uh, I'm still kind of organizing things a little bit. Where's the silver? Where is my silver? I know I have silver somewhere. Is it in here? No. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Sonic has way more attitude than Mario. Proof that Bimple has never played the Paper Mario games. You can't tell me that Mario has attitude in the Paper Mario games. He's literally flat as a piece of paper. I've played them, and Mario in those games has about as much personality in all of his other games as he is the, uh, you know, he's the protag, but he's a silent protag with a little bit of uh, charm. But what does Mario really want, you know? Like, that's the thing. I mean, what does Sonic want, honestly? Okay, what am I making? I'm making the- oh, right, Hab. Do, 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 do. All right, there we go. This has been a long time coming. Equip. Okay, let's, uh, let's stuff it full of uh, batteries and charge them. 
I'll never forget first iteration Sonic. No one ever will. Wait, that's 100% charged. Mario wants to... I'm not unhiding that. It's kind of weird. I mean, the, the weirdest thing about the Mario universe is Mario himself. Like, and Nintendo can't decide what they want to do with him. They don't know what he is. What? Why is he in the Mushroom Kingdom? Is he from Brooklyn? Is he from New York? Is he a normal dude from our universe? Is he not? Um, what's with the hat? <laughs> why, what, like, where did, you know? Is Luigi his brother? Legitimately, are they brothers? Someone in chat says, of course they're brothers. Well, I mean, I mean, I am asking all of the obvious base questions about this universe because we have never gotten really any answers because Nintendo hates answers. Hence why we don't have any like RPGs anymore with story. I know the, the Paper Mario games, like, they've been hit and miss lately. Uh, the favorite one is like, you know, I find it very strange to me. It's very strange to me that Thousand Year Door is more popular or more like beloved than the original one. Because I find there are more miss misses in that one than the original. Okay, actually, I want to put the rest of my materials in there. Refuses to unhide that I said that Mario wants. Wow. this guy finding the loophole okay we're gonna we're gonna put the rest of this in here i also need to get the um stuff out of the sea moth clean out the sea moth it's got a ton of magnetite in there i think we're good for magnetite i don't think i'll need any more for the rest of the game is that patently true is it I don't think that is patently true. I think if pressed, I think Nintendo would say that Mario is probably asexual. I'm not even kidding. It's the closest thing to a sexuality that they would ever admit to in, in their universe. If you like, you know, cornered Miyamoto, like in the corner, like with a knife, with a gun. <laughs> what? What is Mario? Is he gay? Tell me. Tell me or you're gonna get it. it says indiscernible speaking in Japanese. <laughs> then we would finally get our answer. Um, what am I doing? There's one. Oh, yeah, I'm eating food. That's the last thing I'm doing before I leave. My truth cannot be hidden. He literally kills half the Goomba Kingdom for her. If he ain't into her, I mean, you can do something for someone and not want to have sex with them. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I know we're, you know, we're being, there's like several layers of irony here, but come on. <laughs> okay, I'm going west. Who was y'all's favorite character to play as in the Mario universe? Uh, I think I, I like Wario. I think he's a, he's fun. I mean, okay, Wario's probably got a sexuality, but you know what? He could also just be gay. Absolutely, uh, nothing wrong with that. I mean, to be fair, Peach wields a lot of political power. So, uh, you know, Mario is just her personal bodyguard, right? There's not really a lot of question there. Um, she's the princess. So you don't have to uh, fly his motivations under the sexual banner. In fact, I think that's quite odd. Do what you want, I suppose. Would you start a killing spree for passing acquaintance? 
Is it passing? I don't think it is passing. I think it's profit. Mario clearly is a capitalist. Just think about how many coins he collects on his journey. And that's before princess the princess rewards him, financially speaking. Again, I cannot stress enough, going west is dangerous and will not advance the story. Going deep is less dangerous and will advance the story. So why am I going west? You wanted me to go west. Game Theory made a video about the brothers and the relationship and how they are connected. Okay, so I'm confused. Do you want me to go deep or do you want me to go west? Scanner room. We don't need this. You convince me. He'll want to marry the princess instead and get access to the sweet, sweet coffers. Well, I mean... I don't, I don't like this world that you're painting, Neville. <laughs> I think it's objectively bad. <laughs> so I'm a little bit worried um, about what I've been uh, like requested to do here. You wanted me to go west and then you tell me that it is in fact not, there's no point Wait a minute, there is a point. I need that. No, that's the drill suit. No, never mind. So somewhat of a conflict of interest in uh, statements happening in chat. How do I get in here? Why are all of these doors closed? You're going west because I thought it would be funny and you were more open to it than going deep, which is what you should be doing. How come I can't get in here? I can't open any of these doors. What, what is the point of this? Okay, well, in that case, I'm not going west. Hey, it's, it's not like this has been a wasted journey. I've collected some pretty good stuff here. Um, oh, hello. Hey, buddy, you go back to where you came, you hear? Lots of wrecks have doors that only open from the inside. That's annoying. Oh, you got your wish, Kevbo. The dreaded sea critter was was seen. There it is. Can till torpedoes kill reapers? Nah, I think they're immortal. <sighs> hey, buddy. I don't care for your tood, see? All right, we're gonna go back to, first of all, we can we can dispense with the uh, scanner. Sorry, the, um, where is it? Beacon, get rid of this, gone forever. If you have enough of them, he does not. I have none, so yes, I have none. Q 
Okay, we're gonna go back to um where is it? Come back later. We're gonna go back there. And we're gonna do a little bit of exploration and then uh I mean I've already been like this is three hours long. I like I say I like to give to Subnautica a bit more time. Uh but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna check out the uh under underwater. Sorry, the deep. Hopefully I won't get teleported out of my unit, out of my moth, too many times. Listen, bud. I don't care for you at all. How come the reapers are so quiet? I cannot freaking believe you didn't get eaten by a reaper. Yeah, you and me both, honestly. Kind of a shock. What happens if I shock this thing? Nothing. I went the wrong way. Leviathans are quiet because that makes them scary, but seriously, go back to the underwater cavern you found earlier. Yep, that's where I'm going right now. That seems to work sometimes and not others. There you go. Hmm. Hello. Oh. Um. What's up with this guy? Is he cool? Are we cool? Swim to surface. Okay, hold on a second. Is thing gonna chase me forever? Cause I need to repair. Oh, hey, I don't think I saw this before. Okay, let me, let me repair. You will never be cool with the crab squid. Just freaking go down away from it. Okay. I mean, I will, I, I just, I wanna repair. And then uh, I want to check this out real quick. Because I don't think I've seen this before.
if that's the grapple grapple gun man i keep finding everything except the grapple gun oh okay okay all right all right i'm going to, i'm going away now When you'll never be cool with the crab squids. There was some cool stuff down there. Man. Everything down here sucks. these uh, until it reaches maturity which point it divides to create two new genetically identical offspring anything important with those do I want to go down into that I'm assuming no Seems to me uh, that damages my ship slightly. When you'll, uh, sco spooky, scary depths. Lost River is literally the mid tier level of the game. Get used to things sucking. Is this the sewer level? Yeah, I think so. Um, so I'm, I assume this is like fairly caustic. And if I go into it myself, I'll get hurt. Yes. But I'm also assuming that I need that business right there okay that is the crystalline sulfur i think what i'll probably need is i, I probably need the um the prawn suit for this right i mean i could look for the sulfur and then just like carefully collect it Ancient skeleton. Scan the skull, baby. Um, is this creature a creature I'm gonna have to worry about in the future? Kind of hope not. I know this thing is uh, far larger than I am. I, I want to experience in a creature. I'm not seeing any more crystalline sulfur. not seeing any and I know I need more of it we got freaking quartz in there wow it goes this this goes on and on oh there's some this is Partially why I brought stuff like uh, this, but I should be okay for now.
Yo, is this a Leviathan skeleton? A nickel ore can be found in the Lost River. If you look closely, and yes, the Lost River is a huge biome. Um, question, how many things do I have to worry about here? The, um, like, besides the crabs, they seem to be okay. Like, what is that, for instance? Is that something I have to worry about? I assume. Uh, there was something else to check out back there. I wasn't just ignoring it. I was like kind of saving it for last I guess I can get an upgrade for the um, sea moth that gives it a bit more Resistance, I'm assuming. I wish I could get an upgrade for the Seamoth that would let me collect things so I didn't have to leave it. There are minor enemies here and one class of big enemy you need to watch out for. Oh, goody. Um, I'm assuming I need a bunch of cubes for this. Insert tablet. I don't have any on me. Uh, I would have liked to have brought one with me. I should keep one on the moth at all times in case a situation like this comes up. Is that, is that just... What is that? Oh, nickel. Nice. Look at all the goodies. There seems to be a separate layer here with nickel. I'm assuming these things are peaceful. I, like I keep thinking I've clear ouch cleaned out the uh, the rubies, but There's a lot of rubies here I'm gonna collect them wherever I can because uh, you know needing rubies and uh, Having them is that that's one of those gel things isn't it gel sex those Fortunately, do not take up a lot of room. I thought I saw another nickel. Seamoth doesn't need to mine as the prawn is for that. The prawn um, kind of seems like a pain in the butt to me. No offense to prawn enjoyers, you know. But the fact that it, like, it sinks naturally is, is a little weird. Inventory full. Well, we can uh, stuff the sea moth full of stuff. Also, nice contingency in case I die. You lug it around. Oh, I see. That's there. We go. That that the uh, the cycle of vehicles now makes a bit more sense to me. 
you the cyclops is literally just a garage for the uh, prawn suit i know it also has some weapons as well but you know shh shh never mind what did i just see there did I see some horrible creature pop in there, or was that like a school of fish? Something very mundane. This is a really good area for resources. Bring the Cyclops. The prawn suit is literally designed to be ferried around by the Cyclops. Bring the Cyclops down here is almost not a bad idea. You say almost not a bad idea. So it is a bad idea. And the reason being, what was that? I see that, I see you crystalline sulfur. Officially time for a med kit. Welcome aboard, Captain. Huge, gangly, awkward, badly made mobile base that Subnautica fanboys insist is great and maneuvering it through this area will make you hate it and hate this game. Fair enough. I'm already not a huge fan of the, of the Cyclops. I, I've been I've been very transparent about this. I'm already not really a huge fan of it for reasons completely alternative to all of the things that you just listed. This seems like a very pleasant area. Do I have? the incorrect idea about this. Wouldn't mind having some more gel. I like the little pocket of sulfur. No. Where are you? I like the idea of the Cyclops. I, Twin Swords, I appreciate how I can, uh, I can under, I can get a lot of meaning out of what you say. <laughs> Each of your sentences say one thing, but implies uh, the almost the complete opposite. Inventory full. Well, that's not good. Inventory is indeed full, so I think I want to leave. I think I can get out via this way. This seems to go up. And Kevbo did say that there were multiple access points to this area. That being said, there are some creepy crawlies here that I don't necessarily want to... Okay, there you are. Hello. I could like there's so much stuff down here i like the cyclops uh let me read what you're saying in a safer spot than where i am right now uh i like the cyclops it makes you feel safe even when you have no right to yeah it doesn't make me feel safe is the thing like you say that but it makes me feel like even on the surface like 
in total danger. Okay, so where is my base? It's over there. These guys, um, these are good, right? They dredge up really good resources. I'm assuming I'm like really not in an okay area right now. Like this is Leviathan Central. I really don't like where I am right now. I can't see very well. Okay, okay. I know where I am. Sort of. Either way, um, I'm going to head back directly from here. I think this is the area I was looking for that um, pod forever. Okay, I I am I, I think I'm okay. It's not for its weird clunkiness. Oh wait, Bimple, why don't you like the Cyclops? I don't like the Cyclops because it's a very large vehicle that I don't know. It just like it, it feels like a weird dissonance, you know? Like this game is much about. Um, you know, like, I am individually, like, I, I am in co total control of the thing I'm, I'm driving. Like, the Seamoth the is pretty much just first-person mode, you know? Like, it's... There's nothing... Um, if, if you got rid of the, the, the front parts, then, then you, would, you, would, you wouldn't know that you're in the Seamoth, right? You're just in an extension of yourself. But the, the submarine feels so large and um, the fact that you can walk around in it, it just feels, I don't know, intimidating. It just feels weird and scary to me. I don't like it. The way it drives. I mean, I, I know that these are like, these are all the same reasons that Kevbo mentioned, but these are, it's not the same meaning. Like the way it drives feels like I'm driving a, a big ship rather than uh feeling like i'm uh, in a an extension of myself you know oh i need glass literally due to it being huge gangly and stupid by design blow zero's response to it is better in every single way and less game breaking. I mean, I can't say until I've tried it. So, we'll see. I should probably save some for solar panels, huh? What do the solar panels require? Copper. That's probably why I don't make them as often is because I d never have a surplus of copper. So I'll make one. Every time I go out and come back, I'm going to build one solar panel and three Markiplier dolls.
How come he doesn't have the glasses on? Unless you make a huge gangly and stupid by your own folly. I mean, there's at least you have the option of doing it, right? What do you think, guys? How does that look? You have to go out of your way to do that, and even then you can detach and immediately regain Seamoth level, uh... Uh, okay. Okay, let's um, swap out for a char fully charged battery on this and on the repair thing. And then I'm gonna go ahead and swap out those two uncharged ones and we'll pull out those batteries and slap in a couple of zero charge batteries. There we go. There's a couple things that could use power, but we're, we're okay, we're fine. Um, I'm gonna repurpose, you know what? We're actually gonna name this Rubies. Okay, we're actually gonna we're gonna rename this magnetite. This one's gonna be rubies. Okay, pretty much we are good. It's kind of gonna kind of do it for the um, Subnautica portion of the stream. Was there something I, I wanted? I, there's something I was gonna build with the nickel. What was that? Was it um, some prawn suit stuff? Okay, I could make the Cyclops depth module. I should probably do that, huh? No, wait, that's the Cyclops depth module. I don't need that as much as the, uh, the prawn suit. Oh, I guess I need this one as well, huh? I just need everything, don't I? Um, you can, I have a recommendation for you. You won't like it though. Seamoth, prawn suit. Okay, so we need three nickel ore. Jesus. Okay, we need three nickel ore and one plasteel. What does the plasteel require again? Titanium ingot and lithium. I just used up all my titanium. So, you know what? We'll leave that for next week. You're building Cyclops and Prawn suit upgrades to prepare for the deep dive into the Lost River. I was, but then I ended the uh, Subnautica portion of today. Because the thing is, I, I have to go and get some titanium if I want to do that. You, you, you could love me or hate me. I, I have used up all of the titanium on Markiplier dolls. <laughs> Actually, okay, I tell a lie. I can, I think I have enough. Yeah, I have exactly enough for one titanium ingot so we can make one plasteel. How does it feel to finally have a battery charger? It feels good. I'm, I'm happy. Okay, we have the uh, lithium. Next week, we take the Cyclops out for its one and only spin. <laughs> Basically. So I need Plasteel for both the, the Prawn Suit and the Cyclops upgrades. Correct? Yeah, Plasteel. Plasteel, three Nickel Ore. 
and then the Cyclops is Plasteel and three rubies. Man. I just, I literally put the rubies away in its own box and I still lost sight of them. Okay, I'm pretty sure it can make it over here. What do you mean inactive? Okay, we, let's, let's sort that out now, actually. go grab this stuff no we're gonna make the either the cyclops or the prawn either way i i can only make one of these plasteel is easy to get you just have to repeatedly make runs for scrap metal and lithium literally 75 percent of subnautica classic is resource grinding Okay, so what does it take to upgrade the Cyclops depth module? Looks like it won't tell me I have to go to the upgrade station. He did have all the things he needed. I did. It's true. Is there only one uh, depth module for the prawn suit? But then Markiplier <laughs> happened. You're not wrong. I could... You know, the one thing, uh, uh, the one good thing about me making Markiplier, uh, Markiplier dolls as a meme is I can always deconstruct them. It's a, it's a pretty one-to-one -one thing. There we go. Mark one. I'm assuming there is a Mark two, but I don't know how to make it. Oops. Did I only, I, no, I think I forgot. I forgot there's a bunch of stuff in the, um, there's a bunch of stuff in the moth that I have yet to collect. Prawn can now go to 1300 meters below sea level. Oh, wow. I just need um, to upgrade the Cyclops. Welcome aboard, Captain. Where am I keeping nickel? In there for now. Or am I keeping, uh, why are there diamonds in here? Where am I keeping all my stuff? Gold does not go in there. Or am I going to keep the sulfur? I guess it could go in with the cave sulfur. That makes sense, right? And then this uranite. Again, why did they call it Uraninite? Your your Uraninite. I don't understand it. Weird. Okay. Um. Well. Oh, can I grow gel sacs? 
it's apparently a food. Can I grow gel sacks? That would be so nice if I could. Oh, I can. Yo, for real, can I grow those? I need the gel sacks for something, don't I? I can't remember what. Something, it's like something is uh, slightly important. Oh yeah, okay. Aerogel. Aerogel, yeah. Okay. Cute quality of life. There's only one type of sulfur now. Well, I mean, like, if it wasn't called sulfur, it would just be called something else, right? I don't think that's a complaint about there being multiple types of sulfur. It's just like you don't need, like, the naming convention of it necessarily. Gel sacks and rubies make aerogel. So I, I can grow gel sacks, which is really good. Um, we're almost done here. Sorry, I'm just doing a lot of inventory management stuff. How do I still have uraninite on me? I, I keep thinking I've gotten rid of it all, but I, I still have it on me. Marble melon seed. Did I not? Oh, here we go. Let's call it sulfurite. Yeah, there you go. It's the same same thing. It's the ore. Okay, I'm saving and I'm quitting. And I'm going to go uh, hit the can for a moment. And uh, we're going to continue with uh, very calming and, and fun prey. Love, love it. Love this game that I have started playing for my <laughs> all right i'll be i'll be right back uh chat um see you soon real soon take it easy